Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create sending domains, multiple sending domains and how to set them up so that not everything is always sent from only one domain. But why should you do this? Firstly, it can improve your sender reputation and secondly, the chance of better email deliverability is generally approved and thirdly if you ever have problems with bulk emails not being delivered well for some reason because you're sending a very large amount then you can regulate this by sending mails from different domains automatically when you write one-on-one -on -one with someone or these emails that are automatically sent out from your workflows, those two will be sent from the other domain. But let's dive right in. Here we are now in the sub account, which I would like to show you. First, we go to settings at the bottom left and then to email services. Here you can immediately see the option to use the lead connector. I have already set something up here. It might look a bit different for you if you haven't done it yet, but it doesn't change the way we proceed here. We now click on dedicated domain and API. And here you can see that I have already set up two to show you the whole process. Highlevel.delving.de is the one that I use for my bulk emails. Oneonone.delving.de is the domain I use for direct messages with individuals in this example. And now I want to set up another one named workflow.delving.de to show you how it works. You go to the top right to add domain and then say workflow.delving.de, add and verify. Now it asks again here, I always click on continue. Then it loads for a short while and afterwards it will show you exactly the DNS settings that you need to set up. Let's do this together. I have already opened United Domains here. First we need to add a text record and only up to here because we have the domain next to it. This needs to point here, save. Then we take the next one, which comes here and should point here. Then it requires a CNAME. CNAME, so here again, I take away the rest and it should point here. Then an MX entry. Remove the rest again, otherwise it will show an error. Pointing here. And finally, I can copy this a second MX record here. That was all the magic. Naturally, it looks a bit different for you if you use a different hosting provider. But actually, it's always pretty straightforward with the DNS entries. Normally, within a few seconds, you should have everything set up so that you can click on verify domain. Often, the hoster needs a bit more time. So here, it might still say not verified in between. Then you wait a short while and click on verify again. And there you go, everything works, it's all green. Then you click on it again and done. SSL pending, this will resolve itself soon. I click here again on verify domain and now it's satisfied. Everything is green. Now we have these three. Important to know, I'm doing this just as an example. We can now use a completely different domain, use oneonone.yourdomain.de and workflow.anotherdomain.de or .com, of course. So we really have it over completely different domains. I'm just using my domain to show it once. As the last step, you now go to the domain configurator and here I have already set up highlevel.delving.de for the bulk emails I sent. And here we now want one-on-one -on -one for those that are directly written and here we want the workflow. And that was all the magic. Now you have everything set up so that it's sent from the domain you've set up behind it and you can be sure that you are fully utilizing the advantages mentioned at the beginning. See you in the next video.